welcome to Your Great Human Adventure. I'm Dr. Michelle Petticola, founder of Secrets of Life and Death and Second Chance Secrets, empowering you to have a better human adventure, in fact, a great human adventure, by helping you to master the four superpowers that are important for your life. They are brilliance, which is your spirit, body, which is your vehicle through this three-dimensional plane, brain, which works with the body to keep it safe, and then other people. In the last two videos, I was talking about how brilliance or your spirit can sometimes really push you to live your life purpose, often sending you even disaster to wake you up. And so it's important for you to heed the call of your brilliance. On the other hand, the other superpowers have their own nudges as well. And so sometimes it seems like they're battling with each other. For example, the body, because of whatever experiences you've had in childhood, could be afraid of stepping up to your spiritual mission. And when your body is afraid, it has at its fingertips an arsenal of chemicals and hormones that can make you feel devastated and take away your will to do anything. Last time I talked about some of the ways in which you can calm the body and help it to be part of your, par your partnership instead of letting it rule you or, or lead you around by the nose. Today I want to talk about brain because brain works in combination with body. When you were small, your body would get scared because maybe your parents spoke too loud or they, maybe they were too critical or maybe they ignored you. And so there was fear that welled up in your body. Fear is probably one of the most prevalent emotions that hold us back from living our purpose and from having joy in our lives. It is uncomfortable. Being afraid is not a comfortable state to be in. So brain comes in with plans of action, plans of, and beliefs that protect the body from ever having to feel fear. So we develop all these habits. For example, there is the habit of pleasing. So you please people so that they'll be nice to you, that they'll like you, that they will approve of you. That's one approach. If you grew up in a family in which there was violence or there was a lot of anger or even abuse, you might have learned the habit of disappearing, of being invisible. Being invisible, however, is counter to being able to step into your full power and fulfill your mission. So you can see how those habits get in the way. Those are the behavioral habits, but then there are the mind habits, which we learn from the, the conversations we have with our parents, what they talk about, what their fears are. And then we learn it from the culture, which right now is just steeped in fear politics and fear advertising. Because fear gets us to move. It's cheap, but it's not very healthy. Now, the third problem is that we get this fear response or this tendency to think in negative ways also because we're wired that way. On the primitive instinctive level, failure to notice what is negative or dangerous could mean life and death certainly for a lizard, but for you, probably not so much. And the good news is because you're a human being, you actually have choices and you can actually start to change your mind. The first thing is to become aware of what your mind is thinking. Is it, is, are your thoughts making you feel good or are you, they making you feel uncomfortable or worthless or unworthy or unloved? When you become aware of your thoughts, change them. Just flip them over to the opposite. And if they're resistant, write them down. Because when you write them down, you get them out of your head. 
And then you can go back and you can contradict them. So that's one of the things you can do. That's all I have time for today. I'll probably talk about this more in other videos. Be brilliant, pay attention,